Hi, let's continue our discussion on counting. So let's look at this exercise. So we have n objects in a bag, and we want to choose all of these objects by first choosing the first object, then without replacement, choosing the second object, and so on. So how many ways can we choose these objects? If we think about this, uh, also let let me wait for a few seconds. And if you need more time, you can stop the clip. All right. So this is roughly the same that as we did before. Uh, so we have we can think of this uh, process as an n step experiment. Okay. So you have the first experiment. You pick the first object. Okay. And there are n choices here. Okay. And then and then for each of the object that you picked, in the second step you have another n minus one choices. Okay. And for, for any of these uh two objects that you picked, you have another n minus two objects uh to pick and and this is true for every uh like for here you have another n minus one and as well for here you have n minus two okay so if you think of this as uh n stage uh process okay using the general uh generalized uh principle of counting okay in this stage you have n this n minus 1 choices n minus 2 n minus 3 and so on and in the end you have 1 so you know that number of ways you can choose these objects okay is uh, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 time and so on okay and these arrangement of of a set of objects so because we think about the order of choosing um so this arrangement uh is called for each of this each of them is called a permutation okay so the previous exercise in the previous ex exercise we show that for a set of n objects there are this many ways uh, this many permutations and again this is can be written as this notation this is called n factorial okay okay so let's look at another exercise so if we have n objects but instead of picking all of them we just choose k of these objects okay so how many we how many ways can we choose these k objects Again, you can think think of this as uh, again instead of n step process uh, experiment, it's uh, only k steps. Okay, the first step you have n choice, okay, and in for each of this you have n minus one choice, and for each of this you have n minus two, and so on, until you have a pick k of them. So the number of way is uh, n times n minus one times n minus two, and so on, and so on. Okay, up up to n minus k plus one. So you have to be really careful. It's a uh, plus one here, right? Otherwise, you have uh, off by one errors. Okay, so this is just a generalization of what we did previously. Now let's look at something a little bit more interesting. Okay, so you have uh, this word hello. How many ways, how many different ways you can arrange these letters? K, 
Okay, so for example, one of the ways is, is the original arrangement, hello. Or another would be hello. Right. Or maybe it's this. Okay. But uh, note that these two L's are the same. So you cannot uh, have them. Uh, so hello and hello is the same, right? Even though switch this to L. Okay. So so how many ways can you make this arrangement? So let me pause for a little, a little, a few seconds to let you think. So let me give you a quick hint. Okay. Um. We know that if this is not L, say this is if this is X and Y, if we just replace this, so then you have uh, five different objects, okay? And we want to pick them all, right? And we want some arrangement, so you can have S E X Y O S E X O Y something like that. And in in this new case, how many different arrangements can you can you can you make clearly this is uh, five factorial right so because you have five letters so that's five times four times three times two times one okay but then um, do you know do you notice that if we have this arrangement X Y O and S E Y X O. This, if you turn X and Y back to L, what you got is the same word, right? So, what this number, okay? In this number, we overcount some combina some some arrangements, okay? So, can you figure out how many times we overcount something? Yeah, for each of this, right? You count it twice because you're gonna get H E X O Y H E Y O X, right? So to get the exact number of arrangements in this case, you're gonna have to divide this, okay? This thing. This is gonna be five factorial because each of the arrangements occur twice in this counting so you have to divide this by 2 to get the correct answer so that's uh, 5 times 4 times 2 times 1 or 2 so this cancel out so you get uh, 60 okay so let's look at a more general example so suppose we have a set this set of letters and we want to pick a subset out of this set. So how many subsets does of size 2? Not all subsets, okay? Just a subset of size 2. So how many subsets of size 2 does S have? Okay, so we can... Because uh, we cannot say, uh, okay, if we pick A, so we can think of the experiment like this. So we pick A. We pick the first number, first al alphabet, A, B, C, F, right? And then the second alphabet that we're going to pick is what's left, right? Because it, it's a subset of size 2, so you pick something without replacement. So for A, you have, uh, how many choices do you have? So I have B, C, D, E, and F, right? So you have one, two, three, four, five choice. For B, how many choice that you have? Again, you have five choice. But but then, if you pick A and B, this A and B will be you know, you count it twice, right? So you can use the same trick as as previously. So for each subset of size two, you have uh, so suppose this subset A and B, right? You can uh 
duplicates them like this, right? So if you if you think of this as two step process, you're gonna have A and B, also B and A, right? So each subset will be counted again twice, like pre in the previous example. So how many subsets does of size two does S have? So just we can start by counting the arrangement. So the first letter you have six choice and what's left you have five choices and then you have to divide this by two okay because for each of this uh, you for each of this you count it twice like that okay so that's the the answer so you get uh, so 15 okay so the question of the segment is that suppose we have a subset of this set the same set and you wanna find a, a subset of site 3 not just 2 so how many subsets of size 3 does S have? Okay, so please think about it and, and try to figure it out before watching the next section uh, the next segment of the video. See you there.